All right, this is exercise 247, 248, and 249. I'm going to just do this in one video. 247 says, in a study of the lizard something something, biologists measured the distance run in two minutes for each of 15 animals. The results listed in increasing order were as follows, and it gives us 15 numbers. It says, determine the quartiles and the interquartile range. So in order to determine the quartiles, we first have to find the median. Now, it might be clear to you already that the median is the middle number, which is going to be this guy right here. If, um, if that's not clear, uh, we can just go through this uh, same process. And uh, we've got 15 numbers, and we do 15 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 8. And so the eighth number in our list if we count this out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that is going to be our median. Okay. This then splits the list into two smaller lists, or two halves, and we've got the lower list and we have the upper list. The quartiles are the uh, respective medians of each list. So the quartile of this is going to be the median, um, the Q1 is going to be the median of this list which is going to be the center number right there, that's Q1 and Q3 is going to be the middle number of the second list from 32.9 to 45.5 and that's going to be this number Okay. and again if that wasn't clear uh, you can count the number of numbers in the list in this case which is 7 you do the same thing 7 plus 1 divided by 2 so that's going to give you 4, and so the fourth number in the list is going to be the median of each of those lists. Okay, so in this case we have Q1 is equal to 26.4, and Q3 is equal to 37.5. The IQR is defined again as Q3 minus Q1, so we do 37.5 minus 26.4 and we get 11.1 that is our IQR uh, part B asks us to find the range the range is the largest number or the max minus the smallest number or the min so in this case we have 45.5 minus 18.4. That's going to give us 1, 5 minus 8, 7, 10 minus 1 minus 2, 27.1 is our range. Alright, so that's 47. 48 S tells us that the sample mean or y bar is equal to 32.23 meters and the standard deviation is equal to 8.07 meters. A asks us how many are within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay, so to find this we're going to put our mean right in the middle here and we're going to go up one standard deviation and if we do 32.23 plus 0 0.807 that takes us out to 40.30 and then we're also going to go one standard deviation in the opposite direction so we subtract off 8.07 and that gives us 24.16 so if we go to our original number and we look at the numbers between uh, 24.16 and 40.30, um, everything between here, continuing on, up, 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 all the way up to here, okay? So everything in these green brackets are included within one standard deviation. So if we count that, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 numbers. So 10 numbers out of 15 total are in one standard deviation. Okay, 
or 10 out of 15 is 67%. Okay. B asks us to go two standard deviations. Okay, so we do the same thing. 32.23 plus two standard deviations. So two standard deviations is two times 8.07. That's 16.14. So 32.23 plus 16.14 is going to give us 48.37. Going to standard deviations in the opposite direction, uh, I'm just going to subtract 32.23 minus 16.14. That gives us a lower end of 16.09. If we look um, this time for numbers between 16.09 and 48.37, we see that all numbers are within 16.09 to 48.37. We have no numbers that fall outside of um, this range provided here. So in this case, all 15 out of 15 numbers, or 100% of numbers, are in within numbers are within two standard deviations of the mean. I should have written that over here, or within one standard deviation of the mean. Okay. Problem 49 now asks us to compare with the empirical rule. Alright, the empirical rule states that uh, within one standard deviation of the mean, we expect about 68%. All right, and what we observed is 67. So 67 versus 68, it's pretty close. All right, it also states that within uh, two standard deviations at the mean, uh, we expect about 95%. What we ended up observing was 100% of the numbers falling within the mean. So. Um, maybe a few more in our case, um, but you can see that the empirical rule is a pretty good estimate or uh, approximation um, for our set of data. And um, across the board, if you observe uh, data from real life examples, um, in general, the empirical rule holds quite closely. So that was 47, 48, and 49.